All right, everybody, how is it going? I'm happy to be bringing you this video. We're going to be talking about the small audio interface from Rode. This is the Rode AI Micro. Very, very tiny. At a glance, it's not that impressive. It's incredibly lightweight. And you would be thinking, like, where are all the features? And that's one of my gripes with this Rode AI Micro. I'm like, yo, give us a gain knob. Give us some high pass filters. You know, give us a little noise gate button. You know, it's 80 bucks. It's almost the price of a, of a full size, you know, uh, audio interface, maybe something from Focusrite. Uh, so I would have just liked to have seen that, but with the complimentary software that is available by Rode uh, for free, it works really, really well, and we're going to get right into that. So what we get on the actual AI Micro is we get two channels here, microphone one, microphone two, or just channel one, channel two. And right here in the center, we get this uh, audio monitoring feature. So we have a little uh, headphone icon here. So just plug in any standard earbuds and you can start monitoring your audio and you can ensure that your lavaliers are you know they sound good they're not broken or damaged I mean just because you see little levels bouncing up and down let's say on your smartphone if you have this connected to like your Galaxy S21 Ultra um, that doesn't really tell you everything you need to be monitoring your audio you need that precision and if you don't have this afforded to you uh, you're not going to be able to monitor your audio on your iPhone or your, your Android device because they don't have headphone jacks. And it's really unfortunate. For, unfortunate. And even if they did, um, that feature still might not be available because of, you know, some nerdy tech nonsense. Uh, so, yeah, fantastic. So what do you get when you buy the Rode AI Micro? Well, you get these three cables. This one right here is used to connect to your Apple device like an iPhone. And then this one right here is uh, just a standard USB to USB Type-C. So plug this into your PC or your laptop or whatever. And then you plug this into the AI Micro, and then this is what I would be utilizing the majority of the time, USB Type-C to USB Type-C. So this goes to the Rode Micro, and then this end goes to my uh, Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra, and I can start utilizing the Rode app or the Rode Central app and make changes, you know, make, make the, 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 the necessary audio adjustments in, in like the Rode Central app. And then when I'm using the native camera app or Filmic Pro, etc., those settings are going to carry over. Um, or using the Anchor app to make my podcast or whatever. So fantastic, man. So you get just a, there's a lot going on here. There's a lot going on here despite the lack of features on this thing. However, it, it gets uh, compensated for when you utilize Rode Connect, which is what I'm going to be demonstrating later on. Uh, so another issue that I encountered, or, or the only other issue that I encountered with the Rode AI Micro was receiving static interference. And it was really, really bad. And it wasn't like continuous, though. It would, it would come in like small bursts and it was unpredictable, and I did a little bit of thinking, did a little bit of troubleshooting, and I was thinking back to when I had uh, one of the inferior earlier shotgun microphones meant for like mobile devices that Rode used to sell, and um, it would be unusable because of the shielding, and it would essentially pick up Wi-Fi signals, and it would just completely destroy the audio, and it was awful, and that's what I was experiencing here. However, Right now, we are not, or we should not be uh, encountering any uh, interference whatsoever. Uh, we're literally uh, two feet away from a really high-end uh, modem, and it's emitting Wi-Fi all throughout the house. And then, almost less than two feet away, I have my Bluetooth keyboard. Uh, I have my my gaming mouse, which is connected. It is a Logitech gaming mouse. And this right here, this uh, cable, it was connected right next to it. And I think that's where the interference was coming from. So what I did was I moved the USB cable uh, about three, uh, two ports away. So one, two, and then the third one I plugged it in. So it was away. It was it was out of the, you know, it wasn't close to the, the, the USB receiver for my Logitech gaming mouse. And that appeared to have done the trick. And I don't know why. I don't know why that is. Uh, you know, people were encountering this, and uh, I saw another individual doing a video on it, and it's just like, I'm, I'm looking at where he was filming this and where he was testing it out, and it was in the computer room. So when you're in a computer room, you're in your man cave, uh, right now I'm in my workshop, and I have all these, you know, I have Bluetooth dongles emitting Bluetooth. I have a really powerful modem emitting Wi-Fi. And, uh, you know, you're, you're, it's very possible that you're going to pick up some interference, especially if, if you have, like, cheap, junky audio. And this is not cheap or junky in my estimation, but this did happen. But the remedy is simple. You just got to plan your setup just a little bit better so you can get your receivers, put them on the back of the PC. And then you can get your AI micro, plug it into the front of the PC. This is going to be a lot closer to you. You can have, you know, more flexibility with your, your microphones, etc. So that's just 
I mean, that, that's that's the fix, you guys. And there's another trick that you can do if you're receiving just a little bit of static. I don't know why this works. Here, I'm going to get these over here, but it does work. Uh, so what I like to do is I'm going to roll up. I'm going to get both of our uh, microphones here. So this is the Rode, um, Rode Lavalier 2. This is the new, the latest premium offering from Rode. And this is an older Lavalier. This is the Rode Smart Lab Plus. So this right here has three little rings. And this right here only has two. So this is uh, primarily plugged into like GoPros and DSLR cameras, you know, good ones. And then this is primarily plugged into just like smartphones. Back when they had headphone jacks and, and now the year 2022, they got rid of them because they're stupid. Um, but yeah, uh, I don't know why this works, but if you, like right now my hands are clean, but there's a little bit of oil on them. So I like to just pinch them right here very lightly and I'm not, you know, squeezing them to death. Um, and, and then I'm just going to go ahead and, uh, whoops. I think these are tangled up. Okay, it doesn't matter. All right, we're going to go ahead and plug this into number two. So the Rode Lavalier 2 is in two. And then once it's plugged in, I like to just go ahead and just spin it around a couple times. I don't know why this works, you guys, but it does work. We're going to do the exact same thing for, for the... the uh, oh, oh, I actually, actually have my uh, audio, audio on. on. That comes, comes later. All right, so we're, uh, we're going to do the exact same thing for the Smart Lab Plus. Okay, so this should minimize or outright eliminate that, that staticky problem. I'm going to be uh, plugging in or attaching the lavaliers uh, to my nipple or right above my nipple. <laughs> Good, I apologize. So that, that was, whew, sorry, that, that is not happening behind the scenes here. Okay, so we are going to go ahead and switch over to Rode Connect, and we're going to talk about uh, what these microphones can do. So I'm going to go ahead and disable the microphone that you're listening to me on right now, and then you're going to hear me from here on out from the lavaliers. <laughs> Hello. Is this thing on? Okay. We're going to make some adjustments on the fly. So let's just go ahead and do 20. That should be fine. Okay, so this sounds pretty good. I'm trying not to move because I don't want to hear the like the ruffliness from my shirt. But uh, yeah, so we, we get a lot of features afforded to us right off the bat. So right here, uh, if you just do one right click, you get your audio levels right up here. So right now uh, where it's at, this is generally where you want to be. And uh, I don't know how this is going to sound. I'm going to have to listen to this later. And uh, right below that, we got a high pass filter. So I mentioned it would be nice to have that afforded to us right on the device itself in case we don't want to use the Rode Connect app. And then right below that, we got a little bit of a noise gate. It's on right now. It does work really well. Um, I have no reason to really use it because I'm uh, my room is relatively soundproof. But it is really, really windy outside, like violently windy. So I don't know if that's going to get picked up or not. And uh, right down here, compressor, we got an exciter, we got a big bottom. So there's just a lot of stuff here. And making these adjustments on the fly, super, super simple, you guys. I'm just going to click on noise gate. All right. So now the noise gate is gone. I don't know what kind of changes that has done. A, B, C, testing, testing, one, two, one, two. All right. So let's just go ahead and put that noise gate back on. So, yeah, this is what the Rode Lavalier AI Micro sounds like. What do you guys think? Let's go ahead and mute this and check the Smart Lab Plus. All right, you guys. So now I'm using the Smart Lab Plus. Let's see. Um, th this is a little bit. Uh, let's just dial it up just a couple more notches. I don't know how this is going to sound like, but yeah, again, we're using the high pass filter that helps cut out, uh, you know, a bunch of unnecessary noise. We got a noise gate, which generally Rode has done a really excellent job at their noise gate technology, and it's just you know it cuts the nonsense out, and it's really really good. Uh, I first had uh, in-depth experience with noise gates when I had the Rode uh, mixer, the, the $600 premium mixer, yeah, that thing. Um, fantastic, fantastic, by the way. And then, of course, we got the compressor on. We got a, uh, what's it called, the exciter, the, the big bottom, etc. So, yeah, this is fantastic. So, th these are just some of the things that you can do with the Rode AI Micro. So, you can, of course, we can record right here in the top left. And then if we go over here to the top right, this is how we get to the screen. So, you know, before you do anything, before you install Rode Connect, you want to go ahead and plug in your Rode AI Micro to the PC. 
and it'll install the necessary drivers and then you're going to install road connect and then when you uh, open up road connect and road connect uh, detects that you have the road ai micro um, it's going to install like a new firmware update just go ahead and let it do what it needs to do and then right here you can have your microphones all plugged in you can have your microphones you know uh, doing uh, you know you can configure them in the, in the way that you see necessary so you can actually do a a proper podcast with multiple people here so the road ai micro here's channel one and here's channel two um and uh yeah i mean this is it so you can have two road ai micros and you know it'll be four microphones how cool is that and then if you go next it's just like oh here's your here's your road uh here we got virtual device we got system audio okay so uh, yeah, so that I mean that that's uh, I guess my in-depth uh, demonstration, in-depth review. Uh, I, I give this thing an eight out of ten. That uh, that interference thing was kind of annoying, but the remedy is incredibly simple and reasonable. And uh, and again, this thing it, it just works like magic. The, the the software that is afforded to us is so darn useful. And 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 it's just like look at this. We we, we got an on. We got a soundboard. We can just start like you know the laughter. <laughs> Dude, I was like, yo, you get applause. Yeah, I mean, there's just a lot of things you can do here. And then right now, like this, you can connect, uh, you, you can embed Road Connect really easily, really quickly into your OBS stream. You can, uh, you know, do a lot of things here. Um, I, I mean, I do wish there was a little bit more control with the audio, but for what we get and that it's free, and how well it works. Uh, I'm not going to complain. I'm almost certain that, you know, Rode is going to up the ante by the end of the year and give us more updates, etc. Uh, I just wish they would look more into that interference problem and, and help people, uh, you know, uh, you know, just just make something a little bit more robust, more resistant to that nonsense. And I'm going to report my findings to Rode. I'm going to, you know, make a follow-up video, you know, like two or three minutes and see what they say. Uh, but yeah, um, that's just my opinion about the Rode AI Micro. I think it's fantastic. I think, you know, this is incredibly useful for people who want to make, uh, you know, uh, podcasts or, or do quick videos, especially if they have a partner and they're on the go. I mean, some people like to, you know, record at restaurants and whatnot and, you know, get, get really cool scenery and, and just do a lot of really interesting things. And, you know, it, it might make more sense to pick up an AI Micro and to utilize maybe an existing lavalier mic. And, and you can get really clean audio. You can just do a lot of things here. And uh, here, I'm going to switch up and use the... I'm going to switch up and use the Rode Lavalier 2. So, yeah, I mean, there's just so much you can do here. And, you know, just, I mean, you can have all your, your, your subjects here. I mean, there's just a lot of stuff going on, you guys. There's a lot of stuff going on here. This is fantastic. All right, so let me know what you think. Seriously, let me know what you think. You got any questions, ask them. And I hope this video was, was informative and, um, you know, hopefully you can make an informed decision based on this video. All right, guys. God bless. Peace out.